In the annals of natural history, the prehistoric world conjures images of colossal dinosaurs, majestic marine reptiles, and towering ancient trees. Yet, lurking beneath this imposing panorama were creatures of a more sinister nature. Prehistoric bugs and insects that would make your skin crawl. These ancient arthropods, often overshadowed by their larger vertebrate contemporaries, played a crucial role in the ecosystems of their time. However, their sheer size, bizarre adaptations, and predatory behaviors make them the stuff of nightmares. Dragonfly Meganura Meganura, the giant dragonflies of prehistoric times, were some of the largest insects to ever roam the Earth. These fascinating creatures lived during the Carboniferous period, over 300 million years ago, and were known for their impressive size and elongated body shape. With a wingspan of up to 75 centimeters, Meganura was an awe-inspiring sight to behold and is still a source of wonder for scientists and nature enthusiasts today. Despite their intimidating appearance, Meganura were not harmful to humans. In fact, they were harmless herbivores that fed on other insects and small animals. Their size and agility gave them an advantage over other creatures, allowing them to fly with ease and escape predators. Meganura's wings were also unique, with a complex network of veins that allowed for greater maneuverability and control in flight. These ancient insects were a testament to the incredible diversity and adaptability of life on Earth, and continue to inspire curiosity and amazement in people of all ages. Meganura, the giant prehistoric dragonfly, the discovery of its fossils has provided valuable insights into the evolution of insects and the natural history of our planet. The first Meganura fossils were discovered in France in 1880 by Charles Brognard, a French paleontologist. The fossils were found in coal deposits, which preserved the delicate wings and body structures of these ancient insects. Since then, Meganura fossils have been found in various parts of the world, including North America, Europe, and Asia. Fun fact, Meganura monyi is one of the largest known species of flying insects, with a wingspan of over 70 centimeters. In conclusion, Meganura is a remarkable creature that has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. UFO variety. In the shadowy depths of prehistoric forests, where sunlight barely pierced the dense canopy, crawled one of the most formidable and fearsome arthropods of its time, the UFO variety. These ancient millipedes, which thrived during the Carboniferous period approximately 300 million years ago, were the giants of the undergrowth. Unlike their modern, mostly harmless relatives, members of the UFO variety family grew to impressive lengths, some reaching over a meter, about 3.3 feet, making them among the largest land invertebrates of their era. UFO variety were armored with tough, segmented exoskeletons, providing them with protection against predators in their humid, swampy habitats. Their numerous legs allowed them to navigate through the thick leaf litter and decaying vegetation that blanketed the forest floor. These millipedes likely played a crucial role in the ecosystem, acting as decomposers that broke down plant material, thus recycling nutrients back into the soil. Pulmonoscorpius While large prehistoric creatures seem to take all the popularity that comes with being extinct, Several smaller species also share this limelight. One such creature is the Pulmonoscorpius, the lung scorpion or scorpion with lungs. Although this animal is small compared to dinosaurs and other prehistoric terrestrial animals, the Pulmonoscorpius was a colossal scorpion in the arachnid class. These enormous scorpions lived in the Mississippian, early Carboniferous, subperiod, around 336.0 to 326.4 million years ago. This genus contains one named species, Pulmonoscorpius kirktonensis, from the Latin word pulmonis, meaning lung, and the Greek word scorpios, meaning scorpion. Pulmonoscorpius was a giant among arthropods, surpassing the size of any scorpion alive today. With its elongated body, this ancient creature reached over two feet, and in comparison to its modern counterparts, Pulmonoscorpius was a true giant. Most scorpions living today are relatively small, with an average length ranging from a few centimeters to a maximum of around 8 inches. Pulmonoscorpius, with its almost 3-foot length, far exceeded the size range of present-day scorpions, showcasing its extraordinary stature and unique place in the evolutionary timeline. There is a lot of debate about the evolutionary adaptations that allowed the creature to grow so large. 
One of the prevalent theories suggests that the oxygen-rich environment during the period it existed may have played a role in the growth potential of these ancient scorpions. Higher oxygen levels would have provided more efficient respiratory processes, allowing for the sustenance of larger body sizes. The creature's sting was a venomous appendage, or telson, that served as a potent weapon against prey. This appendage had venom glands, allowing Pulmonoscorpius to immobilize or incapacitate adversaries or potential threats. Another notable feature of the Pulmonoscorpius was its advanced respiratory system. This genus represents a fascinating deviation from the typical respiratory system in scorpions. Some researchers propose that these ancient scorpions may have developed an early version of lungs, representing a transitional stage between book lungs and the more advanced respiratory systems observed in modern arachnids. Ongoing research, including new fossil specimens and advancements in analytical techniques, offers hope for unraveling the Pulmonoscorpius respiration mystery. Mongol Laric and Jurassica In the verdant, primeval forests of the Jurassic period, where dinosaurs roamed and pterosaurs soared, there existed a creature that would send shivers down the spine of any arachnophobe, Mongol Laric and Jurassica. This prehistoric spider, hailing from the mid-Jurassic epoch around 165 million years ago, represents one of the largest known spiders of its time. Fossilized remains of Mongol Laric and Jurassica were discovered in what is now northeastern China, an area that was once a lush, tropical environment teeming with life. With a leg span estimated to reach up to 15 centimeters, about 6 inches, this spider was a formidable predator in its ancient ecosystem. Its large size and robust build suggest it could have preyed on various insects and possibly even small vertebrates. Mongol Eric and Jurassica's existence sheds light on the evolutionary history of spiders, revealing that these arachnids have been successful predators for hundreds of millions of years. The well-preserved fossils of this species provide valuable insights into the anatomy and behavior of ancient spiders. Unlike many modern spiders, Mongol Eric and Jurassica likely lacked the advanced web-building capabilities seen in some contemporary species, relying more on ambush tactics and speed to capture its prey. The discovery of Mongol Laric and Jurassica adds to our understanding of the incredible diversity of life during the Jurassic period. It highlights the intricate and often overlooked web of interactions among prehistoric creatures, where even the smallest inhabitants played crucial roles in their ecosystems. As we explore the world of Mongol Laric and Jurassica, we are reminded of the ancient, primal fears that such giant arachnids would have instilled in their contemporaries and the enduring legacy of spiders as masterful hunters through the ages. Titanomerma In the steamy, greenhouse world of the Eocene epoch, around 50 million years ago, the Earth was home to a myriad of extraordinary creatures, among them the colossal ants of the genus Titanomerma. These prehistoric insects, particularly the species Titanomerma gigantea, were true giants among ants, with queens reaching lengths of up to 5 centimeters, about 2 inches, comparable to the size of a modern hummingbird. Titanomerma lived in what are now Europe and North America, regions that were covered by lush, tropical forests at the time. The discovery of their fossils in both continents suggests a remarkable ability to disperse across vast distances, possibly through ancient land bridges or by rafting across oceans on vegetation mats. Their presence highlights the warm, equable climate of the Eocene, which supported the growth of such large insects. These giant ants were likely powerful predators and scavengers within their ecosystems, exhibiting complex social behaviors akin to those of modern ants. The sheer size of Titanomerma queens suggests that their colonies could have been extensive, with a sophisticated hierarchy and division of labor. Their formidable mandibles would have made them effective hunters and defenders of their nests, capable of taking down large prey and fending off competitors. The study of Titanomerma offers fascinating insights into the evolutionary history of ants and the climatic conditions that allowed such giants to thrive. Their existence during the Eocene serves as a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of life on Earth, where even insects could achieve monumental sizes under the right environmental circumstances. As we delve into the world of Titanomerma, we uncover a time when ants ruled the forest floor with unparalleled dominance. Their giant forms a stark reminder of the incredible diversity and adaptability of prehistoric life. Arthropleura 
one of the largest invertebrates to have ever lived once roamed the beaches of ancient England. Arthropleura was a giant millipede that weighed the same as a large dog, and a recently discovered fossil reveals some of the secrets of its enormous size. The largest ever land-dwelling arthropod has been discovered on a beach in northern England after a chance find by a researcher. The giant millipede Arthropleura would have been one of the largest invertebrates ever, living over 300 million years ago. A fossilized fragment of the huge creature found in Northumberland has enabled scientists to estimate its length at around 2.6 meters, similar to that of a small car. Arthropleura existed during the Carboniferous period, which lasted from around 359 to 299 million years ago. At the time, Earth was much more oxygen-rich than it is now as much of the carbon was locked up in woody plants which could not easily be broken down. Despite its daunting appearance, Arthropleura was not a predator. It fed primarily on decaying plant matter, playing a crucial role in the ecosystem by breaking down and recycling nutrients back into the soil. This activity would have helped sustain the rich, biodiverse environments of its time. Megarachne. In the mysterious waterways of the Carboniferous period, around 300 million years ago, there existed a creature shrouded in both intrigue and error, Megarachne cervinii. Initially thought to be a giant spider when it was first discovered, Megarachne was later revealed to be an enormous eurypterid, or sea scorpion, an ancient relative of arachnids that roamed the freshwater ecosystems of prehistoric Earth. The initial classification of Megaract as a giant spider stemmed from its strikingly spider-like appearance, with a body size reaching up to 54 centimeters, about 21 inches, in length, making it one of the largest known eurypterids. This misidentification captured the public's imagination, as the idea of a spider of such immense proportions is the stuff of nightmares. Megarachne inhabited freshwater lakes and rivers, where it thrived as a formidable predator. Its robust, segmented body and powerful, scissor-like appendages allowed it to hunt various aquatic organisms, including fish and smaller arthropods. The adaptations that once led scientists to mistake it for a spider actually reflect its specialized lifestyle in its aquatic habitat. Anomalocaris. Before killer whales and polar bears, before sharks and tyrannosaurs, the world's top predator was probably a bizarre animal called Anomalocaris. It lived in the Cambrian period, over half a billion years ago, when life was confined to the seas and animals took on bizarre shapes that haven't been seen since. Many scientists believe that Anomalocaris ruled this primordial world as a top predator. At up to a meter in length, it was the largest hunter of its time. It chased after prey with undulating flaps on its sides and a large fan-shaped tail. It grabbed at them with large spiked arms. It bit into them with a square, tooth-lined mouth, and it tracked them with large, stalked eyes. Now, John Patterson from the University of New England, Armadale, has uncovered new fossilized eyes that he thinks belong to Anomalocaris. If he is right, this hunter had extraordinarily acute vision for its day, rivaling that of almost all modern insects, Pteragotus. In the ancient, shallow seas of the Silurian and Devonian periods, around 430 to 360 million years ago, roamed a formidable and fearsome creature, Pteragotus, one of the largest and most impressive eurypterids, or sea scorpions, to have ever existed. These giant arthropods, reaching lengths of up to 2.5 meters, about 8 feet, were apex predators of their time, dominating the aquatic environments with their size and predatory prowess. Pteragotus possessed a sleek, elongated body equipped with powerful, paddle-like appendages that allowed it to swim with remarkable agility and speed. Its large, robust claws were adapted for capturing and subduing prey, which likely included fish, smaller arthropods, and other marine creatures. The creature's compound eyes provided excellent vision, essential for spotting prey and avoiding larger predators. The exoskeleton of Pteragotus was segmented and flexible, providing both protection and mobility. This, combined with its impressive size and strength, made Pteragotus a dominant force in its ecosystem. The creature's adaptations were well suited to the warm, shallow marine environments of the Silurian and Devonian periods, where it thrived in the rich, biodiverse waters. Paleodictyoptera. The Paleodictyopterida were a diverse lineage of insects known only from the late Paleozoic, tilde operator 323, 
299 million years ago. In the only major group of insect orders to fall victim to the mass extinction at the end of the Permian, around 251 million years ago, they comprise four orders, Paleodictyoptera, Megasicoptera, Dicliptera, and Diaphanopterodia. Paleodictyopterids were highly variable in wingspan, ranging in size from about 10 mm in some tiny Permian Diaphanopterodians to 56 cm in giant Carboniferous Paleodictyopterids. They formed a significant component of the Paleozoic insect fauna, attaining considerable diversity and morphological disparity in terrestrial ecosystems. In fact, they were among the first highly diverse and specialized insect herbivores, all sharing unique beak-like mouthparts for piercing and sucking plant tissues. Paleodictyopterids were also among the earliest winged insects during the Carboniferous. They have significantly contributed to our understanding how wings evolved in insects, owing to their unique nymphal wing pads, something not found in any insect living today. Fossil paleodictyopterids are found in most late Paleozoic deposits throughout the world. These ancient insects and arthropods, with their colossal sizes and unique adaptations, thrived in environments vastly different from our own. Their stories are a testament to the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of life, where even the most incredible forms can emerge and flourish.